Yeah, um, obviously we're in some adversity right now. Um, we got to get our confidence back. We got to get back on the same page, get some people healthy. Um, can't keep turning the ball over the way we are. We have to value that. Obviously didn't shoot it well um, from the three or the free throw line, and that was the difference in the game. I know you've been stressing cutting down turnovers. How? What can you do to make that happen? BC had 29 points off turnovers today. Yeah, um, we just got to keep stressing it in practice. You know, everything starts with practice. Taking it serious in practice, understanding what we're looking for, understanding how the offense flows, um, understanding each other a little bit better, I think. Uh, and then just getting some continuity. I mean, we've had a different lineup, I think, every game. Or, you know, we've pretty much, Mo, Tosh, and Bree have started most of the season, but we've had people in and out. And I think once we can get some continuity, get healthy so we can have continuity, um, then maybe we can just you know get back on the same page. And kind of following up with that, with the new faces and kind of changing the lineup because of those injuries, can you play as fast as you want to? Or, or is the lineup equipped to do that with all those injuries right now? Yeah, I mean, we're not getting as much as we want out of the transition. Um, and you know, with lower numbers, obviously, you know, people are getting tired. You know, at the end of the day, rightfully so. I mean, Tosh and Mo, I think, played 40 minutes today. So you know, there's times we do run. We get stuff out of transition. And there's times people are game planning for that. You know, we don't have as many um, healthy bodies, I think, as we would want. But it's still going to turn around. You know, I still believe in this team. I'm, you know, I know that we're in adversity. Um, and we just need to get back to the basics and understand what we're doing, um, understand each other, and get our confidence back as a group. You know, our players individually have to be confident, but confident, but we have to be confident as a group. Coach, you've been working on the, the zone defense recently, and Tiana Todd was able to, to get hot in the first half, but then you guys were able to put a lid on her in the second half. How did you have to adjust to the way that she was shooting and, and getting open looks, and, and did that have to adjust your defensive strategy for her? Yeah, I mean, I prefer, obviously, to play man. Um, there's just more accountability there, you know, um, and we're about accountabil accountability. But I think, you know, zone is something that we can be good at. We haven't practiced it as much as, you know, we probably should. Um, and we're just going to get better. We'll watch the film. But you can't, if somebody's blowing up your zone, you can't just stay in it. You got to be able to adjust. And that's what we try to do. We try to go man. We try to press a little bit. We try to get our energy going whichever way I could. Um, but I do think the zone is going to be a good mix up for us. Questions for the players? Well, Latasha, the 23 points were the most you've had at Virginia. How has maybe your confidence level grown over the course of the season as? You've just played more and gotten more used to the system. Um, I would say in the beginning of the season, uh, I don't think I started the first what first two games because mm -hmm. of an injury. Um, but you know, coming back from that, it just made me push more. Um, you know, just going out there, doing whatever I can for my teammates. Also, I've been getting you know on my own time in the gym on my own, making sure that. I'm focused on like knowing the plays because that's the one thing that we are, you know, right now kind of struggling with. But just knowing the plays, um, rebounding, being confident in my move, uh, my skill set because you know I know me personally I can bring a lot to the table. So just staying confident, knowing that whatever I do, um, I just got to be confident in it. So yeah. Mo. Oh. Coach mentioned confidence. Latasha mentioned confidence. I noticed in the first half there, you were really trying to fire up your team and just talking to them a lot. How important is kind of keeping that energy level up, keeping the confidence high, even when you know you're enduring some adversity? Um, yeah, I think that that's something that I worked on in the off season. Um, I think that comes with leadership, and I think that comes with the role that I have on this team. Um, you know, we've hit a lot of adversity, a couple couple losses, but I think for me, it's just about stepping up into stepping into that role and um, using my voice and empowering and inspiring so uh, this could be for any of you guys but you guys have a longer break before your next game I think it's like nine days or something like that so how do you just plan to use this break to your advantage yeah um, <clears throat> it's good it's good for us because we've been going, going, going. Obviously, we had those three games in Puerto Rico. That's very taxing physically and mentally, um, especially dealing with injuries. So we had a shorter rotation. But um, you know, we got to get better. 
So part of it is getting rest, and also part of it is getting better. Um, we got to get healthy, but then we also have to get better. So I think it's going to be a mixture of the two. You know, our recovery, making sure we're doing what we need to do, making sure we're getting to the days that we need to focus on finals too. You know, that's important too. Um, but we got to get back to work and practice. We got to get back to where we were when we tipped it up and started the season. Um, Confidence-wise, togetherness, camaraderie, all that. Because it's there, and it's going to come back. But sometimes when you hit adversity, things like that go away. Um, and we just got to get everybody back on the same page. You, uh, you got Peyton in the game early today, and she played a lot. Is this, were you just looking to shake things up, or has she been earning more minutes in practice? I mean, I think she's been earning more minutes. I think Peyton is a really good player. She has to just settle in, and I think um, she can help. And the way that you get over, you know, get your confidence in game situations is to play. You know, and I think that, you know, once she gets a little bit more comfortable in games, she'll have a little bit more production. But she, she's been doing better in practice, and she's a kid that can score the ball. Um, you know, we see it every day in practice, and it just has to click under the lights. But she can shoot it. She can get to the rim. Um, she has an IQ. So. Uh, you know, she just needs a little bit more game experience. Was Olivia available today, or is she dealing with an injury? She's healthy.